by spirit. Uh, jump down to verse number 26. Likewise, the spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. So our shortcomings, our lackings as well, our infirmities, right? The areas where we're not, we don't, we don't know that much. And especially when we're praying, you know, sometimes we're praying to God the best that we think we understand the word of God and things that would be good prayers and, and we want to see certain outcomes, but we, we just, um, uh, you know, our, our heart or our spirit may want to, to do that, so that which is right and godly, but we don't know how to, to vocalize that or put that into words. So the Holy Spirit is like a translator that's going to help you be able to communicate what you really want in words that are going to be, to, to um, do that. And I'm not talking about speaking in tongues. I'm just talking about our communication to God. Right, so that God is going to hear what, what it is we really want, because not everyone is very good at explaining what they want. Right? I mean, I'm married to one of them. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> it is funny. You know why it's funny? Because there's a lot of women that expect men to be mind readers. And what they say isn't exactly what they want. Yeah, <laughs> all right, all right. I got some amens. We got to. <laughs> We're gonna keep going on this one. <laughs> Sometimes I wish the Holy Spirit could intercede <laughs> and be like, "What is it you're actually asking me?" Okay, good. Oh yeah. <laughs> I just told her the other day. Well, you know, I say whatever it is you literally say is literally what I am thinking you're, you're meaning, right? So like that's just, that's exactly how I work. I, I, I can't read between the lines, just be exact. So, but you know, all of us to some extent have this problem with being able to communicate to God the things that we want, right? The things that we want God to do. So the Holy Spirit is there to help us to be able to communicate properly and to make that, that that's clear that we're not asking for something really stupid for ourselves, and always be like, no, 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 that's not, you know, he said that, I know, but, but this is what he really wants. So, so we, we, what a blessing it is to have that also, to, that we have the Holy Spirit to be able to, to help us in that, in that area of our life. So that's great, which is something the Spirit does. And it's very clearly from Scripture, that's what the Spirit does. But again, you know, this, we're not seeing anywhere this emotion concept with the, the Spirit of God. Bible says, how be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. So the Holy Spirit also helps you to gain wisdom and understanding when you're reading the word of God, when you're hearing the word of God preached. The Holy Spirit is going to help you to understand through means that we aren't fully aware of, but that's, what, that's part of the Holy Spirit's job of being able to do that. Again, though, no emotion Turn if you to Ephesians chapter 4, we are going to see maybe something that, that would look like something that's emotion with the Holy Spirit, but it's not the Holy Spirit inducing emotion on us. Ephesians chapter 4, four verse number 29, the Bible says, Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Verse number 30, And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. We can grieve the Spirit. We don't really see the Spirit grieving us. I mean, it just, it's just not found. We can, you know, our actions can grieve the Spirit. We could be doing things that the Spirit doesn't like and is grieved that we're choosing to do certain things. We can quench the spirit, which means we have control or autonomy to be able to ignore the Holy Spirit. These are all things in addition to, and we're not, like I said, this isn't just a completely exhaustive on the Holy Spirit. I mean, that would, that would take quite a while. The gifts of the spirit, right? The, the speaking with other tongues, the prophecy, healing, you know, all these various gifts. None of those are emotional. 
or the fruit of the Spirit love joy peace gentleness goodness faith but that's the fruit of the Spirit that's what the Spirit produces 